technique is fun, simple and requires minimal cleaning. Cut off a portion of PVC plastic and tape it to the table. Using paint brushes or fingers, paint accordingly on the PVC plastic as preferred. Place a drawing block over your work and rub gently for the paint to transfer. Finally, take a damp cloth to clean the area and you're ready for the next piece. Children will be exposed to the concept of reusing materials when engaging in this activity as they share the same plastic piece for their artwork. Children will also develop the concept of mirror image and opposites when they transfer their artwork from plastic to paper. Using recycled materials in our artworks teaches children the importance of saving the environment. Using newspaper strips, arrange them on the paper according to your preference and glue down the edges slightly to hold them in place. Using a paintbrush, paint over the entire paper and be sure to cover the edges of the newspaper. While the paint is still wet, gently peel off the newspaper to reveal the artwork. Through this activity, children practice identifying different letters and shapes as they place the newspaper. Children can use these art pieces as a representation of themselves to develop a sense of belonging. Teachers can also use these letters to create activities for their learning centers. First,在泡沫板上创作图案，然后滚动滚筒，让颜料均匀地分布在它的表面。接着，用滚筒反复在泡沫板上滚动，使其涂上颜色。最后。泡沫板反扣在了白纸上，这样泡沫板上的图案就拓印在白纸上了。这样一个有趣的手工活动，可以激发幼儿对艺术的好奇和热爱。这一种艺术形式还可以引导幼儿通过和朋友合作而拓展